Welcome to this tutorial on how to perform closed testing for an Android app on the Google Play Store using Google Play Developer Console. Once you have made the Android game it is a good practice to create a test release on Google Play Developer Console. A test release gives you a platform to make your application available to testers on Google Play Store before rolling it out to production. By putting it out to Play Store you can test your application for how it would actually work in production when it is available to users. You can create a release on three different testing tracks. First is open testing. Open testing releases are available to testers on Google Play. Users can join tests from your store listing. Second is closed testing. Closed testing releases are available to a limited number of testers that you choose who can test a pre-release version of your app and submit feedback. And third is internal testing. Internal testing releases are available to up to 100 testers that you choose. We will have a look at closed testing how we can set it up. Once this is understood it would become self-explanatory to perform other two testing types in case you need to perform testing on them as per your requirements. Here are the steps we need to follow. First log in to Google Play Developer Console. You can get its link from the description below. To set it up for closed testing click on your application on the home page of Google Play Developer Console. As an example here I have an application called Spy Run in production. So, we will click on it. On the left pane window go to release section and under it click on testing. This will expand the options for testing. Since we are going to cover closed testing here we will click on closed testing. With closed testing you can test pre-release versions of your app with your own groups of testers. The first step is to create a track. So, we will click on create track. We can give a track name here. Let us give it as track 01. We will click on testers tab to set up closed testing. In testers section you will see a default list name called owner. A list name represents the list under which one or more email IDs will be added. The owner will, by default, be the owner of Google Play Developer Console account who is logged in. On clicking on the arrow next to it will present you with an email list editor. To this we can add one or more email addresses, separated by comma. As an example I will add an email ID pressing enter confirms the selection. You can also upload a CSV file having list of all the email addresses separated by comma. Under section email addresses added we can see the newly added email ID. We will save the changes and go back. You can also create a separate email list from the owner by clicking on create email list. Let us click on this. Provide the list name and for rest the process to add testers is same as followed for owner. You can also give Google Groups name. With Google Groups you can give email everyone in a group with a single email address. Under feedback URL or email address we can add the web link of a site or the email ID where we can give the feedback. The testers can either join your test using Google Play on Android or they can join on the web. You can copy the link and provide it to testers for testing. Save your changes and you are done with setting up closed testing. I hope this helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button to show your support. Also, consider to like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos. I post new videos frequently, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.